All right, hello and happy Thursday. It is time for another Make It At Home. This week you can pick up a kit in the AS to make foam prints. So here is an example of a finished print. Here's your kit and inside you will find a flat foam piece a bottle of acrylic paint. Um, the color is marked on the bag at the top, so if that's important to you, be sure to check which color you're getting. You'll also get one of these carving tools. Uh, there's a flat piece here and a pointy piece here. This one's already been used by me. Yours has not been used. Uh, you will also have some paper. So you'll have a single 4x6 note card and also a piece of sketch paper. If you've got any other paper around, feel free to use it. It's up to you on what your print will look like. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is if you're going to get intricate with your design, you might want to sketch it out on a piece of scrap paper. Um, your imagination is the only limit, but consider the amount of detail that you want. I, in my previous attempts, tried to make some pretty elaborate designs and found that simple ones like this work better. If you are going to use letters, when you go to put it on the foam, you want to make sure that it's backwards so that when you do the print, it is the right way. Alright, so once you have your design, you're going to trace it or freehand mark it into the foam. Uh, you can use the carving tool or if you have a ballpoint pen you can use that as well. Straight lines tend to work better than curved lines but again it is up to you. So we're gonna go ahead and do happy again. So again we're gonna write backwards and you do not have to use the whole foam piece you can use just a section of it uh, and make multiple designs. It's up to you. And when you are making your lines, you want to make sure that they are deep enough that when you apply the paint later, there'll be that resist section, but you don't want to make them so deep that it goes all the way through the foam piece. So now that, I've, now that I've gone through with this, we're going to make this H a little wider. You can go back through with a ballpoint pen of any color, just so you can kind of see where your lines are going to be. And you can also smooth out the indentations. And this is a trial and error process, trial and error process. So don't be discouraged if your first one doesn't turn out the way that you want. Okay, so now that that's ready, let's add a heart. So now that that's ready, you are good to add some paint. So your paint bottle um, has never been opened, so there will be plastic up here. And then also when you take the cap off, instead of it being open like this, you will have a plastic plug. So just use your nail to pop that out so that your paint is ready to come out. Now you'll want to get a paintbrush. So either just a regular flathead brush like this, or even a foam brush to make applying the paint a little easier. I did use my fingers before and that works okay, um, but you have to be careful about getting it in the lines. 
which if you do, you can just use the pointy end of your carving tool and get the paint out. Again, it's a trial and error process. Alright, so we're just going to put some paint on. And you want it to be even. You can see it's already going in the letters and that's okay. Because we'll just scrape it out. But you do want it to be even around the design. Or not, doesn't have to be. You could also use an old credit card or gift card to make it smoother. So you can see it's in these letters that I drew, so we're just gonna pop up, carve it out. So that's looking pretty good. Use a paintbrush again. All right, and then you're gonna take your paper, whichever one you decide to use. I'm gonna use the note card here, and you're gonna put it on top of the print, and then use your hands to smooth it out so that you're getting the whole section. You don't have to press hard. And then you're going to gently lift the paper and check it out. So that turned out pretty good. Obviously there was still a little bit of paint in this P and that's okay. And you can redo your design, reprint it as many times as you like. Or make a new one. Well, a totally new design. I am curious to see if any of you try a different paint or an ink, different paper. Feel free to share your results with me. You can tag Yaz MPL if you post it to social media. Or if you want to venture into the library, you can visit me with it. That would be awesome as well. All right, so we'll do one more. And this one will be with the sketch paper. All right, so that one turned out pretty well. Awesome. Okay, so hope you guys enjoy this. Have fun with it. Be sure to pick up your kit in the ads while supplies last. Thanks for watching.